Hi, welcome back. My name is Nicole. So today I, I'm going to be talking about overcoming your fear of flying and or fear of just traveling in general. It helps. Um, this is this helps with me because I am going away this Thursday. I'm nervous to fly, excited to fly at the same time. So. So, one, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Two, I would like to get to at least 400 subscribers by August, so if you could help me out, that would be great. And subscribe. Um, comment below if you think you're a nervous traveler or a nervous flyer. I think there are two different things, you know, traveling, like from, say, road trips or going from airport to different airports. Um, and then... If you're a nervous flyer because everyone has a little bit of nerves leaving their hometown going to a different country not knowing what to expect to so if you're flying um, and you're nervous to fly usually it's your preference if you want to take gravel I think like go right ahead take something to knock you out if it's an overnight flight or even if it's just like a few hours um, you, if that's your preference, go ahead. Uh, other ways, though, is to, uh, you could just, like, take some deep breaths, uh, talk to someone who you're going with about it, that you're a bit nervous, you know, but you're not gonna be loud about it, you're gonna be quiet about it, you're gonna just sit there and not let your anxiety win, you're gonna just sit there and you're going to take a book or whatever like a magazine and just read it you, you even try to take a nap try to get your mind off of it and think of think of where you're going think of what destination you're gonna be at what you're gonna see um, in a few hours and then it's not like you're living on the plane you're just spending a few hours there and you're more than likely going to sleep another thing <coughs> excuse me um, what you can do, also having a um, tea, maybe some wine if you want. The one thing I know I can't do is have wine, because last time it was like I think it's the air pressure of the planes, but going down, it like gave me like a really bad migraine during that time, and it was not fun. Anyway, so that's what you can do. Um, even sitting in an airport if you're waiting to go on your next flight read a book, talk to your friend, meet new people if you want, go ahead and meet, new, meet someone new, eat something, make sure that you're full so that you're not stuck in an airplane for a few hours just having one small snack. Um, depends though, because if you have, um, say you have an eight hour flight, you're gonna want, they're gonna, they're gonna feed you obviously, but you want to make sure you have snacks and stuff. Um, like basically know before you go, know the knowledge of what airline you're going on, what they provide, what, um, I guess what time, what, maybe search up what the plane's going to look like because you can make it, it'll be less like nerve wracking for you too and just think like your friends are there, you can talk to them or your family, whoever you're going with. Um, the only thing that worries me about the, I, I love flying, I'm more worried about the going through the airports of missing my flight, or, yeah, missing my flight, I feel like something else, but I can't think of it, um, yeah, because I don't want to miss out on anything, I hate missing out on things sometimes, but I, I get it, um, sometimes that happens. Unfortunately, it happened to me in Nashville, and you can go look at that video. Um, you can look at that video. I, th I don't remember. It's there somewhere. Maybe I'll put the link down below. Yeah, I'll put the link down below. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, with road trips, I love road trips because you get to drive and you get to see the scenery, the nature scenery, depending on where you're going and different places. You get to stop different... You can stop at different places and try out new restaurants or try out something or go see a 
go to a park you haven't see, um, been to before if you come across one. You know, um, if you do get motion sickness, like, I think you should stop more often. Maybe if you have to stop overnight, that's okay too. So then you just don't get motion sickness. It all depends on where you're going, where you're flying to. And also, knowing before you go, like, knowing what, like, what to expect in that country, city, wherever you're going is really good because then you'll be like, oh, yeah. Um, we're not allowed to do this, or we should be doing this. Like, uh, the other day I decided to take a virtual walk on the Google Maps, so thank thankfully we have that these days, nowadays, um, because then it would just be all of, all of a surprise. I mean, that's cool too, but I kind of like to know before I go, I'm kind of that way where I'm just like... I need to see what this place is going to look like, what I'm walking into. And honestly, I virtually walked some parts, parts of Greece that we may or may not see. And I'm so excited for it. I'm excited to see everything that that is planned for us. Um, and I guess when I get there, I'll be nervous. Or I'll be nervous because of all like... Meeting new people, that makes me nervous. I have a question for you guys though. So when I, when you land somewhere, do you feel, do you ever feel like disoriented or just full, fully anxious for some reason? Just the first day you get there, but the next day you're fine. Let me know in the comments below if you think, if you notice that about, uh, if you've noticed that about yourself. Um, it's just sometimes I get like that, not all the time, it's weird, it could be an anxiety thing, it could be something else, I have no idea. Anyways, I hope this video helps. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about my one experience that, because, so this was my first time going on a plane ever, I was 11, going to Disney World. Um, so we were flying to Florida, on the way there was fine. I was nervous, it was my first time taking a plane. But on the way back, I had to, it was a six hour delay, I believe. I was 11, so I don't really know why, I don't quite remember. I was on the plane, and um, or we all got on the plane, it all shut down, we were all ready to go, and then all of a sudden the power just went off, and, we were, and I was freaking out. I don't quite remember, I thought I was calmer, but I don't quite remember. I was like, what's going on? Like, you know, kind of upset because I was nervous. And no one told us anything till like a half an hour later. But they got it back up and running and it was fine in the end. But yeah, that was my technically second time on the way home taking a plane. But yeah, that's basically it. I hope this video helps. Have a great and lovely, lovely afternoon. I'll see you soon.